Karen Jetley Life. Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today in this video tutorial we are going to discuss conceptual ERT. Okay. And guys, the example which we will study in this video is the university system. So why I'm taking this example because all of you as a students, you are aware of the working of universities and colleges. Okay. So to make it easy for you to understand. So I am taking this example. So today in this video, we are going to discuss conceptual ERD and the technique which we will follow is called as noun technique is called as noun technique. So guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how we can make a ER diagram, okay? Conceptual ER diagram using noun technique, okay? So guys, for the full video, all of you stay tuned. Now guys, we are going to make the conceptual ERD, okay? From the university description, okay? And the technique which we are following is the noun technique. Basically, what is noun technique? Noun technique is when you have a written description of the system, when you have the written description of the system, in that system okay we have to look for different nouns we have to look them for, we have to look for different nouns and then we have to identify the nouns which can be used as entities okay and the nouns which can be used as attribute of an entity okay basically noun technique is used when we do not have people to discuss when we do not have people to ask questions then we use the technique called as round uh, noun technique in this we have a written description of the system very similar to in your exams okay when they give you a case study they give you a written description of the system which you need to study and based upon that description you have to make a er diagram okay now here is the description of the system okay now in this description we have to look for something called as a noun now guys all of you know what is a noun noun is a name of person place or a thing okay so step one we have to read the system description and we have to look for nouns okay then we have to classify these nouns as an entity that we will decide based upon the system description which noun is an entity and which noun is an attribute of an entity okay so guys let us do it so this description for uh, this video i made a very very short description okay normally descriptions can be longer than this in the real life okay so now let us read it university system number one different students take different courses in the university now what is the noun here student and what is the other noun we studied here? Courses. So in a university, many students come and they study many different courses. Okay. Now, other thing. A course is taken by different teachers. Okay. Now, in the university, not a course. A teacher can take more than one courses. Okay. Courses are taken by different teachers. So courses we already identified as a noun. Okay, so what is the other noun we identified? Teacher. Okay, now students may participate in different activity. Okay, so the next thing which we identify. Okay, now what is there? Students come to university to study courses. Okay, and who is teaching the course? The courses are taught by the teachers and student can also participate in activities okay student may participate in an activity okay so let us read the now apart from names apart from student names courses teachers are uniquely identified by their ids okay so what they are saying is apart from the names okay so we have name for students we have name for courses we have name for teachers apart from their names they are also uniquely identified by their ids now in database design what which is the thing which uniquely identifies a row that is the primary key so ids what it will become it is uniquely identifying the courses it is uniquely identifying the teachers and it is uniquely identifying the students so what it will become it will become a primary key so guys if you focus just by reading the description you will come to know what you have to draw okay so what are the different nouns here we have nouns student courses teachers activities names 
okay so all these are different nouns names ids all these are different nouns so now which nouns are eligible to be entities student because student is an important entity in our university courses again important entity in our university if there is no course then why we have to open a university then teachers again important entity in a university then activities okay now all the university colleges okay they all do many extra curricular activities okay so then comes these names and ids now guys these are nouns okay but these cannot be entities why because they belong to some other entity name belong to student course name belong to course teacher name belong to teacher so what these things are okay now let us classify what is this this is an entity what is this this is an entity what is this this is an entity entity and what is this student name student name is a characteristic of student it is an attribute of a student so what is this attribute student id is attribute okay so student name course name teacher name so all these are so i didn't put here name 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 okay so what all these are all these are different attributes all these are different attributes just by reading the description in 2 minutes you can identify what are the different entities what are the different attributes easy isn't it now if you have the entities if you have the attributes easily you can make the relationship and if you read the description again if you read the description again we can find the relationships also we can find the relationship also okay course is taken by or course is taught by what is this this is a relationship student takes a different course or student studies different course what is this this is a relationship student participate in activity what is this this is a relationship guys just by reading the description you can identify entities you can identify attributes you can identify relations and what we have in ear diagram in ear diagram we have nothing but entities their attributes and their relation okay so guys i hope all of you understand up to here okay so now i am going to make a er diagram of it okay so what are the main ent entities we have we have student courses teacher activities total four entities and what are the attributes we have we have student name student id teacher name teacher id course name course id now here they didn't give any attribute to the activity so we can assume an activity so what activity can have activity can have activity name for example volleyball is an activity isn't it by solo singing it is an activity so activity name is the identify which we will describe okay now guys i am going to rub this thing i am going to rub this thing and i am going to make a er diagram okay so guys in the last part these were the different entities we identify we identified student we identify courses we identify teachers and we identify activities and what are the attributes which we identified student id uniquely identifies a student so what is this this is a primary key here i am donating primary key with a star okay or i'll put okay here i am donating a primary key with a star courses what is uniquely identifying a course course id okay so what it is it is a primary key what are the attributes of course if we have course id we have course name and guys if the further description is there about the course for example the level or how many credit hours the course offers okay all those attributes can also be entered here but in our description it was a very very brief description then here comes the teacher so what teacher has teacher has teacher id what is this this is a primary key and teacher name and then we have activities so activities normally can be uniquely identified by the activity name okay so in case you want you can also add an activity uh, activity id also it is okay okay now guys <clears throat> we will set the relations 
so in the description we study the university the student comes and he takes courses in the university so what student why uni student comes to the university student comes to the university to study courses so there is a relation between so there is a relation between student and a course okay now in a university since this is a conceptual erd what is conceptual erd in conceptual erd is the er diagram which shows the concept of the system so in a university system we know many students they come and they study many courses isn't it in the conceptual erd normally the relations between the entities are many to many at logical it is not allowed at logical level it is not allowed but at conceptual level the relationship between entities are many to many normally if we talk about a university or college we see there are many students in the university or a college and they study many courses similarly there are many teachers in the university and they teach many courses isn't it for example i teach system analysis and design i also teach operating system okay and there are many other teachers like me isn't it who are teaching many different courses okay so then comes student me many students may participate in many activities here i put zero now what do you mean by this zero this means optional madhuri student has to participate student has to take courses teacher has to teach courses okay student may do activity so may is optional so optional is zero or many students can participate in many activities okay so very important in a er diagram we must give labels to the relation normally if you do not give the labels to the relations your er diagram becomes very confusing and if you are doing it in the exam teacher will cut good marks for it not give good marks he will cut the marks okay so now let us take give the labels okay students they party speed in activities isn't it student i will write it study courses teacher teaches courses teacher teaches courses and guys what we have here is we have a conceptual er diagram of a university system using a noun technique so guys again i am saying this is a conceptual erd what is conceptual erd the relations in conceptual erds are normally many to many okay so soon i am going to make another video in which we have to convert this conceptual erd into logical erd okay so logically it is not possible to implement but conceptually we can study a university system by this we have many students they study many courses and many courses are taught by many teachers so guys i hope you understand me i hope you understand me so guys if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel if you have any comment leave it in the comment section if you have any feedback leave it in the comment section and all of you thanks for watching and stay tuned